Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Kim from the Owensville branch of the Claremont County Public Library and this is my friend Bunny Foo Foo and we are going to do some fun imaginary bunny stories today. But before we do that, let's sing our hello song. Do you want to help me? Yep, I think Bunny Foo Foo is going to help me with our hello song today. So everybody get ready. Here we go. Hello, hello, hello and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. And I hope that you are too. Okay. Well, we all know that to be good readers, you have to know your letters. So what better song to sing to learn our letters than the ABC song? Are you guys ready? Are you gonna sing this with us too, Bunny Foo Foo? Yep, I think Bunny Foo Foo is gonna do that too. And if you would like, you can clap as we say each letter. Here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now we've said our ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Yay, good job. Well, like I talked about, we're going to do some imagination about bunnies. And what letter does bunny start with? Bunny starts with letter. B. This is Big B and this is Little B. Can you draw a Big B with your fingers? Go straight down one line and then over and over and that's how you draw a B. Also we're going to have another book that's going to have a duck in it and what letter do you think duck starts with? It starts with letter D. 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 This is Big D and this is Little D. All right, can you draw a big D in the air? Again, it's a straight line and then just one curve around. That's pretty easy, isn't it? You can practice your letters with all kinds of things like pencils and crayons and markers, sidewalk chalk, shaving cream. Just practice every day drawing your letters. Now, we're gonna get started with our stories now, so I'm gonna have to put Bunny Foo Foo down. And these stories have lots of fun imaginary things to talk about. And when your mom and dad are reading stories to you, it's always good to read with them and talk about the stories. That's how you understand more about the stories. So our first one is called Big Bunny, and it's by Rowboat Watkins. That's kind of a funny name, isn't it? All right, let's see what Big Bunny does. <gasps> Once upon a time, there was a big bunny. Look at how big that bunny was. All we can see is his bottom. We can't even see the rest of him. <sighs> he was a ginormously scary bunny. No, he was just big. And he lived on <gasps> an enormous floating carrot. No, he just lived on a round planet that grew <gasps> monstrously delicious carrots? No. I wonder who's telling this story. We'll have to find out in the end. But there were lots of tasty normal carrots. See all the carrots? But tasty carrots are so small. They're not that small. When do we get to the scary part? Big Bunny ate 10 carrots in one bite. That's not scary. Without chewing? That's still not very scary. How about 20 carrots? Nope. How about 200 carrots? Sorry. He ate carrots by the truckload. That's pretty scary, isn't it? Wait, there are trucks on this planet? Yeah. Does Big Bunny eat the trucks? No. Why not? Why do you think Big Bunny wouldn't eat trucks? Trucks? Because he was too full of carrots, of course. See how big his belly's gotten? Trucks are tastier. No, they're not. Well, trucks are crunchier, but trucks aren't edible. What does that word mean? Edible. That means you can't eat them. So what happened to them? They got stuck in traffic. Traffic is so boring. 
That's why they build a bridge. Wait, who built a bridge? The trucker penguins did. Penguins drive trucks? Yes, and they build bridges. This story is worse than traffic. Fine, you tell it then. So, after Big Bunny ate the bridge and all the trucks, he went looking for more to eat. Wait, he ate the bridge too? Yep, and all the crunchy trucks. And he was still hungry. Very hungry. I think somebody's getting carried away with this story now. So what happened to the penguins? Oh, they just all took off to Florida. But penguins don't fly. That's why the giraffes drove them. Wait, what giraffes? There weren't any giraffes in this story. The giraffes that drive the buses. Giraffes don't drive buses. Yep, and they build very tasty bridges too. Buildings aren't edible. Well, I wouldn't tell that to Big Bunny. Oh, we're finally going to find out who's telling this story. Who do you think might be telling this story? You're going to be very surprised. It is Daddy and Baby Lettuce telling a baby st a bedtime story. Listen, I don't like all this eating nonsense. N eating nonsense. Sorry. But we're finally at the very best part. <gasps> the scary ending. And look who's peeking in. And what do bunnies like to eat? They like to eat lettuce. That would be a very scary ending if you were lettuce, wouldn't it? Well, we're going to sing a fun bunny song. Let me get Bunny Foo Foo back up here to join us again. And I want you to sing it with me. And even if you don't know it, once we sing it a couple times, you're going to learn it pretty quick. And it's called Little Bunny Foo Foo. Are you ready? Here we go. Little Bunny Foo Foo, hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and popping them on the head. Down comes the good fairy and says, Little Bunny Foo Foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mice and popping them on the head. Bunny Foo Foo, I'm going to give you three chances to be a good bunny. And if you aren't, I'm going to have to turn you into a goose. Oh no, he doesn't want to be turned into a goose. Little Bunny Foo Foo, hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and popping them on the head. Uh-oh, down comes the good fairy and says, Little Bunny Foo Foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mice and popping them on the head. Bunny Foo Foo, now you only have two more chances to be a good bunny. Do you think you can do it? I think you can. Here he goes. Little Bunny Foo Foo, hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and popping them on the head. Down comes the good fairy and says, Little Bunny Foo Foo, I don't want to see you scooping up this field mice and popping them on the head. Uh-oh. Down comes the good fairy and says, You only have one more chance. Bunny Foo Foo, you better be a good bunny. Okay, here he goes. Little Bunny Foo Foo, hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and popping them on the head. And down comes the good fairy and says, Little Bunny Foo Foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mice, bopping them on the head. Bunny Foo Foo, you have not been a good bunny. You have used up all your chances, and now I have no choice but to turn you into a goose. Alakazam 1, Alakazam 2, Alakazam 3, and... Poof! Honk, 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 honk. <gasps> Bunny Foo Foo turned into a goose. He did not listen very good, did he? Well, that was a fun song. And we have one more story to read today. This one is not too long, but this one is going to make you think a little bit. It is called Duck Rabbit. Remember, I told you we were going to talk about a duck. And this one is by Amy Cross Rosenthal and... Tom Lichtenfield. So let's find out if it's a duck or a rabbit. Hey, look, it's a duck. That's not a duck. That's a rabbit. 
What do you think it is? Do you think it's a duck or a rabbit? Hmm, let's find out. Are you kidding me? It's totally a duck. It is for sure a rabbit. See, here's his bill. See right there? There's the duck's bill in his eye. <gasps> what are you talking about? Those are ears, silly. Those are rabbit ears. What do you think? Do you think they're ears or a bill? It's a duck and he's about to eat a piece of bread. See, there he goes with his bill. <gasps> no, it's not. It's a rabbit and he's about to eat a carrot. Uh-oh, it does look like a rabbit. Wait, listen, did you hear that? I heard duck sounds. What does a duck sound like? Quack, quack. That's funny because I distinctly heard rabbit sounds. Rabbits just go <laughs> sniff, sniff. They don't make much noise, do they? Now, look, the duck is wading through the swamp. No, it isn't. That's a rabbit and he's hiding in the grass. Anybody can see that. <gasps> there, see, the duck is flying. It's flying and he's hopping. Look, the duck is so hot that he's getting a drink. Nope, the rabbit is so hot that he is cooling off his ears. Look, here, look at that duck through my binoculars. Nope, I still see a rabbit. Here, ducky, ducky. Here, you cute little rabbit. Oh, great. Now you scared him away. I didn't scare him away. You scared him away. You know, maybe you were right. Maybe it was a rabbit. Thing is now, I'm actually thinking that it might have been a duck. Well, anyway, now what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you want to do? Hey, look, it's an anteater. No, that's not. That's a Brachiosaurus. The end. Have you ever sat on a nice sunny day and watched the clouds and tried to make shapes out of them? That's what they were doing in this story, and they were using their imaginations, which is what you want to use every day. Well, to finish our t story time today, we're going to do a little song about ducks. And you can hold up your five little ducks if you want to. Hold your hand up like this, and it goes like this. Five little ducks went out to play over the hills and far away when the mommy duck said quack 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 guess what <gasps> four little ducks came running back four little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away when the mommy duck said quack 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 <gasps> only three little ducks came running back Three little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away when the mommy duck said quack, 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 quack. <gasps> Only one, two little ducks came running back. Two little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away when the mommy duck said quack, 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 quack. <gasps> Only one little duck came running back. One little duck went out one day over the hills and far away when the mommy duck said quack, 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 quack. No little ducks came running back. Those silly ducks, they better get home before supper. Now, I told you you can practice writing your letters and that helps you get ready to read. But it's also fun to retell stories. And here's a fun way that you can retell the duck rabbit story. You can make your own duck rabbit puppets. See, here's the duck and here's the rabbit. And it's very easy to do. All you need to do is get a piece of paper. If you have construction paper or card paper, it's better. Fold it in half like this. Just fold it right like that. And it's very easy to draw the shape of the duck rabbit. But if you forget what it looks like, check the book out and then you can look at the book.
So all you need to do is just draw the shape on here real easy with the ears or the bill, whatever you want to call it. And then you just take your scissors and because you have your paper folded over, once you cut it, you will actually get both. And I'm not going to cut the whole thing out. I'm just showing you how to do it because I already have them cut out. So you just put a little eye on it and you can color them if you want to. If you want to make them more, look more like a duck and a rabbit, that's fine. But it's funner to try and figure out which one's which. So that's a way that you can retell your story and tell somebody else the fun story that you heard today. Also, if you like stories about imaginary rabbits, here's another one that's really good that I would encourage you to check out from the library, and it's called Dog and Rabbit. And it's about a dog and rabbit who are looking for a friend, and friends show up in the most unusual places. But that's all we have to, for today's story time, so have fun retelling your stories, have fun writing your letters, and Let's get Bunny Foo Foo back out here because I didn't really turn him into a goose, did I? That was just pretend. And he's going to help us with our goodbye song. This is the way we say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. This is the way we say goodbye at the end of story time. Bye everybody and happy reading. <laughs>